Well, here in the Midwest, it definitely feels like summer in a few spots. We have some uh, record heat that will be possible again today. We'll show you where. And then on the outer periphery of this big dome of very warm and humid air, we have spotty severe weather concerns and locally heavy rain. But uh, yesterday to the far north, it was pretty mild. We made it into the 70s up near Duluth and International Falls. Rapid City, a cool 58. But look at these records from Kansas City to St. Louis over to Indianapolis. Daily high temperature records there. Chicago, Milwaukee, a little cooler. The wind off the lake. But again, uh, down to the south, we are almost 15 degrees above average. Here are the record highs possible today out near St. Louis. Back into the Commonwealth of Kentucky, Indianapolis could be topping out at 90 this afternoon. And this is how much rain we picked up yesterday, almost an inch from Cleveland to Chicago and about an inch in Des Moines. We also had some showers and storms that produced some large hail and the damaging wind and those uh, yellow and blue dots. Today, there is a severe threat in an arc-like fashion around that heat and humidity, which again is set up over the Ohio and Tennessee Valley. So uh, some of the storms today could be a little on the strong side. Maybe tomorrow down to the south as well. And then starting to see that thunder threat build from uh, Bismarck down to the Oklahoma and Texas panhandle once again. So showers and thunderstorms will be uh, strong to severe on the outer periphery of that big dome of hot and humid weather. I think later this afternoon, Minneapolis will be ducking in and out of the showers. But as you can see here, Tuesday looking a little bit quieter up to the far north. Precipitation again, maybe still exceeding an inch in a few locations. And that's where we could have some uh, record highs down to the south.